what would your first step be like? Is it like the ICP identification, pain points? How do you go about that process? We first just try to figure out where are they in the journey? Mm-hmm. We, we primarily work with companies that are early stage. So maybe raised a seed round, potentially series A. That's kind of our sweet spot. But we get a lot of companies that are not directly in that spot. Some that are pre-launch, some that are way post series A, very large companies. And so it starts with figuring out where are they in the journey? And then mm-hmm. secondarily, it figures out uh, what we're trying to figure out is, do you have customers already? And are you mm-hmm. ready to kind of make the jump from an exploratory mode to a marketing mode? And the exploratory mm-hmm. mode is usually founders in the early days meeting with all sorts of different people in their network, just kind of pitching the technology, right? It's amazing. You can do all these things and and visionary customers will be able to apply that technology in different ways. Mm-hmm. But if you want to turn on marketing, you kind of mm-hmm. have to pick a lane and you have to either mm-hmm. decide, am I going to go after a specific group and a use case to try to really own that space? Or am I maybe going to take a more product-led growth approach? Am I going to go really, really broad, make my product extremely easy to adopt, extremely easy to share, and just get it in as many hands as possible? Ultimately, those are the two paths that let you break out from that like early adopter to mass market adoption, is you're either going to pick specific company types and use cases that you want to anchor on, go for them, or you go the other way and you say, we're just going to see if we can get millions and millions of users from all sorts of different reasons, like how you could look at Notion or Airtable or Asana or any of these people that are much broader, horizontal, and have these mechanisms that allow them to spread really, really, really fast.